Dearly beloved, we are gathered here on this Valentine's Day at 10 p.m. by the time you will see this for the final match, the main event of Trivia for Thon 3. By the way, donate.thon.org slash campaign slash trivia, the number four, T-H-O, and the number three. We are raising money for the Four Diamonds Fund as part of Penn State's annual Thon event. We're covering the cost of children battling cancer at Penn State Hershey Children's Hospital. We're doing this in honor of my late father and in honor of our good friend, Kevin the Smasher Smets, who's battling stage three colorectal cancer as we speak. Uh, if we raise $3,000 by midnight tonight, if you were the highest donor individually, I will get a tattoo of your choosing. But yes, we are here, myself and six of my good friends. We are gathered here for this seven-way dance of cluster proportions where we have combined movies, geek, and pro wrestling trivia into one match to crown the very first Trivia for Thon Omniversal Champion. A belt that can be defended in literally all scenarios and all mediums. Is it going to be a disaster? Probably. We'll see how things go. But this is going to be for your enjoyment. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the greatest match of all time, because I get to be here with all these lovely people supporting the greatest charity in the whole wide world for the greatest college in the whole wide world. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The Pennsylvania State University puts on a great fundraiser every year. It raises money for the Four Diamonds Fund, which covers 100% of the costs of all of the children that are battling pediatric cancer at Penn State's Hershey Medical Center. So this is FTK for the kids. One day we will dance in celebration, but today we dance for the cure. And right now we are playing trivia for the, uh, for the cure. So introducing first, Nico, how are you doing tonight? I'm scared. There's so many people on this call. We've already had some issues trying to get this match started. So let's, I'm just gonna keep it short. Let's start playing. Perfect. RJ, how are you feeling tonight, sir? I'm here so Nico won't be mad because he's my partner. <laughs> I appreciate that. Sometimes that's what you gotta do in life. And we look so we got the Z-Man, Zadia Smith part two. How you doing, sir? Uh, feeling good, feeling great. Thank you. And uh, even though her name isn't displayed, I will introduce her as the Glampire herself. Haley, how you doing, my girlfriend? Um, I'm here to make everyone else look so much better because I'm going to be terrible at this. I think you're going to be great. <laughs> and in the center square, the Whoopi Goldberg himself, <laughs> Philadelphia, I mean, Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the floor of a movie theater, and it has been a very long day. That is where I'm at as a human being. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we also have the most handsome man in the whole wide world with the most beautiful hair. You already introduced me. <laughs> How are you doing, Anthony? My I'm good. I, I am glad to be here. I may not have went to Penn State, but I respect Thon. Uh, Christina kind of really introduced me to it. And I have a lot of friends that went there that were big into it. So this is a great cause. I'm glad Nico's getting this set up. Uh, so I'm excited to try this and fail miserably when we get to the wrestling round. And last competitor this evening is my main man. How you doing, Jay? Uh, you know what? Uh, I, I am reminded of wise words from a poet. It's hard to have intercourse over four sets of corsets. Let's fucking get this over with already. This is a children's stream, Jesus. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Do you not know how children are born? And last but not least, my lovely co-host, Mr. JD3, is going to kill it with me on the mic tonight. Woohoo! I'm going to try I'm my best. killed Hunter. Yeah, something. Yeah, Hunter can't be here, so I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be running things, and I'm gonna try to talk a little bit. But it's not about me. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. Wu Tang for the children. Right. Ladies and for gentlemen, the children. Wu -Tang we are going to start round one. So I will go over the rules quickly for round one. All competitors will be asked a series of the same nine questions that correspond to the strength categories that you guys have submitted prior to the match. There will be a 15 second time limit to answer each question via writing it on your whiteboard. Once the time limit has expired, each competitor will verbally say their answers while showing their answers on their whiteboards. Correct answers will result in a one point increase. There are no penalties for incorrect answers. If a competitor answers all of their round one questions correctly, the competitor or competitors will receive a one point bonus question. 
Does anybody have any questions about how round one will work? How many questions are there? There are nine. Eight. How does this, how does this work? There, I've, there, never, I've there. never done online trivia before. You're just going to get questions asked until I stop talking. Fun times. Oh, so she we're going to be here forever. <laughs> so we're going to be here forever. All right, guys. Well, before we get started in, with the first question, I do have to say we have a guest that wants to say hi to everybody here on this on the stream. Hi, I'm the Schmodown's Jacoby Bancroft. Man, that is weird to say. All right, let's just get started. Let's let's start reading some questions. <laughs> well, that was weird. Look at my <laughs> Thank you, Cameo. <laughs> I actually love everything about that. Yeah, the Schmodown Jacoby Bancroft has joined us today. That's amazing. He is quite the star. I can't wait to ask him questions about his personal life that he can't answer. I can see what you did. That's all that. That's all that. All right. And well, I, if this works, I'm sorry. Go ahead. He he takes the first question, right? Our our star yes. himself. Perfect. Yes. Let's see how this works. <laughs> All right, in the strength of WWE, WWE, AEW, John Huber, which is Nico's strength, the question is, what team did Luke Harper and Eric Rowan defeat to win the NXT Tag Team Championships? Motherfuck. This is the only wrestling, this is the only wrestling question for round one, so you guys are fine. Ah, fucking anything else. Kids, dream. <laughs> I have an answer. Does that count? Five, I have yeah. you. Three, two, one. No, it's not right. no, we will start with you. I don't have the team name, but I have the participants: Adrian Neville and Oliver Gray. I will do that. RJ. I guess the Ascension, because I knew there were chaps at mm. one point. <laughs> no. Uh, Z Man. I copy off of RJ. I put the ascension also. Really? <laughs> I put a strong team uh, fracking down. Fun DMC. Nice. Oh, also, on now. Bill. I fucking almost wrote the British Invasion too, but I wrote the ascension instead. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, Anthony. Well, this show is for the kids, people. Also, I just wrote donate the thon because I had that one. And Jay. Yo, you remember when people gave a shit about wrestling? <laughs> my my heart. My heart. I mean, I'm used to it. I've been alive for three years. Remember, Trump remembers. All right. In a shocking turn of events, Nico is the only one to get the question on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I would like to challenge that because you asked for the team. Oh, my nah, God. No, I'm, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be that person. I'm not going to be that person today. today. Not today. <laughs> Save that for another day. <laughs> question not this question. Two. Comes in the category of Power Rangers. You're all welcome. Of course it is. Oh, Jesus, Jim. <laughs> Who plays Jason Scott, the Red Ranger, in 2017's Power Rangers? Oh, the one guy whose name I didn't memorize from that cast. Oh, man. I, I don't know. Look at the clock in the corner. So, according to what Nico said, it's not a living person? Yo! Rip! Beijing. All God right. damn it. RJ! No, I, should go first, Dad. I hope you all watch Stranger Things, because it's Billy himself, Dacre Montgomery. That is correct. Z-Man! I almost cut me from uh, R uh, RJ. I just put Billy from Stranger Things. I had no idea his name. Haley? I threw Anton Yelchin down, but... <laughs> Hey. That dude from Stranger Things. Nice. That I do. Anthony? I messed up the first name. I wrote Drake Montgomery. Oh, uh, yeah. That's not a name. Sounds like a human being name, so you're good. Sorry. Jay? Uh, that guy with the caucasity. And Nico? Uh, RJ Seiler plays the blue one. That's true. Oh, nice. All right. It's nice to know that everybody cared about anybody else's strengths. All righty. <laughs> Moving on to the next question in the category of MCU. Okay. This is so funny because Anthony just got excited, but he's probably going to get this wrong. In <laughs> Thor Ragnarok, what is the planet that Thor lands on where he meets the Grand Master? Uh, 
Anthony, that was a good guess, by the way, because his name is very Australian. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, I thought the last name was wrong for a second. Then when you put the, the whatever Dakra or whatever his name, yeah, pronounced. it's spelled weird. Yeah, I know. Trust me. Already, uh, I always thought it was Darcy. Oh yeah, <laughs> it looks like Darcy. Yeah. Z man, sir, your answer. I hope it, spelling doesn't count. I put Sakar. It does not count, so I will take it. Okay. Haley. Um, I wrote New Zealand, but it's pronounced the car. Perfect. <laughs> Malcolm says hello. Uh, Philadelphia. <laughs> That's a road car. Wait. What does uh, that say? Does that say scar? Scar. S-K-A-A-R. Yeah, I don't know if I can take that one because that says scar. You can't because it's not right. Yeah. Uh, Anthony? I did get this right. It's a car. I know. You're so wonderful. I love you, honey. Jay? Uh, it's a car. Perfect. And Nico? It's a car. And RJ. Sakar. Perfect. Look at that, guys. Way to pay attention to other people. All righty. Our next question is from the Schmodown star himself. All right. In Haley's strength of the Twilight Saga, who plays Charlie Swan, Bella's father in the series? Damn it. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, you know, I don't you, like that, dude. I just like the only person I thought about looking up before this match, and I didn't do it. Yeah, same. Th- I, I actually like this dude. Oh my god, he's like the best part Five, of the whole franchise. Four, three, two, and one. Haley, darling, what is the correct answer? Hang on tight, Spider Monkey. It's Billy Burke. Yeah. Bill. He wasn't important enough to remember. Hashtag epic stash. Anthony? I'll go with the same as my first answer. Donate the thon. Jay? Uh, ditto what Anthony said. Okay. Nico? Also what Anthony said. RJ? We'll continue with what Anthony said. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if this is going to count. I'm Bill Burke. Yeah, I would think that that's the same name, right? Yeah, has the, uh, he's just being more familiar. Yeah. <laughs> We go way back. No, you, he's being it's, it's not like he put William. Like he put Bill. <laughs> this is for charity, um, and I would argue that Bill, Billy, and William are all the same name. Just yeah, but I would never call Philadelphia Billy Delphia. I'm just saying. Like, why wouldn't you? Because why Billy, would you call Billy Delphia? Yeah. Anyway, you call me donut hole right now because that's how I'm doing. <laughs> I'm moving on to the next question. Yeah, Which is a 1980s Stephen King adaptation? Who plays Judd Crandall in 1989's Pet Cemetery? It would help if I've seen it. Right? <laughs> oh my god, I might know it. I might know it! Fucking data question every time. End five. Four. Three. Every question is technically a data okay. question. Uh, Anthony, use the repeat. Yeah, the repeat. yeah, please. Repeat. God, really? You don't yeah. know the answer, but that's okay. In the category of 1980s <laughs> Stephen King adaptation, who plays Judd Crandall in 1989's Pet Cemetery? By the way, Judd because, Crandall? Because of how insane this match is going to be, everyone gets four repeats instead of three. Okay. Can we also get four points? Can That's the only way I'm going to get any points. <laughs> and four. You said three. Judd, right? As in a, 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 a male. As, as in J U D. But anyway, it's Bill's turn. So, Bill, what's your answer? Uh, I couldn't remember the guy's name. I wrote Dale Addis. That's not correct. Sorry. Uh, Anthony. It's the guy who plays the judge of my cousin Vinny, but I don't remember his name. Oh, my God. That's right. Uh, oh, I thought it was the main guy. God damn it. Oh, son of a bitch. No, I said John Lithgow. Uh, Nico? For, for the sake of not having a blank board, I just wrote Kevin Bacon. Nice. RJ? I tripped you all. I actually knew the answer. It's Lloyd the Moose. That's what nice. Z-Man? To everybody watching the stream, please refer to the hashtag. Hashtag forget Terra Nova. And- <laughs> I just have to give a shout out to my partner because we watched my cousin Vinny and she was like, oh, the guy from Pet Cemetery, Fred Gwynn. Nice. Excellent. 
The guy right. from Pet Cemetery, not Herman Munster. Okay, <laughs> yeah, whatever. But like, whatever. It helped me get a point, so mind your business. This next category was my strength, and so far the only question I would have known had I was playing. And the category is Disney Renaissance. So, Bill, looking at you, Bill. <laughs> I'm not gonna get it. It's my brain is fucking just a puddle of oatmeal right now. What was the first movie during the Disney Renaissance era? Oh shit! I looked this up too. Hey, hey, hey! Kids. I will right. challenge if anyone says this is wrong. Look, I'm gonna put it to you like oh, this: uh, this this thon might be for kids. This stream ain't for kids, bro. In the immortal words of my uh, Michael Jordan, fuck them kids. Three. Oh wait! Repeat! Repeat! Okay. <laughs> you didn't get it in time. That was intense. In the category of Disney Renaissance, what was the first movie during the Disney Renaissance era? Oh, if I had it the first time and then changed it, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> that's the worst. That is absolutely worst. And I feel like it's forgotten, and that's why I'm like, if they say I'm wrong, I'm a challenge. <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, definitely this is not forgotten. Oh, boy, I'm wrong. Anthony. The Little Mermaid. That is correct. Jay. The Little Mermaid. Are we going to be te uh, technical that you didn't yeah, say give it, Give it to him. Give it to him. I just like no. to bother Jay mostly. Nico. The Little Mermaid. RJ. I meant forgotten because it's not in the 90s. Little Mermaid. Uh, <laughs> fair. Fair. Man. The Little Mermaid. Look at that. Haley. I love that we're getting Jay parody points. The Little Mermaid. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Do I need to bust out the Sam manual and say <laughs> that the article has never been a thing if there's not another movie named that? I yeah, mean, I will. You can take it up with his newest client, Ruba, maybe later. And Bill, your answer. <laughs> the Little Mermaid. Yay. Good job, everyone. Yay. I got, eight points. I got eight points. <laughs> All righty. In the next category of Guillermo del Toro directed movies... Fucking who plays who plays the amphibian man in 2017's The Shape of Water? Oh yeah, an easy one. <laughs> I fucking swear to God, if this is not the right answer, <laughs> Jay, what you just put down is the right answer. <laughs> oh my God, what's his name? Um, if, if I'm, I, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. No. Three, two, and one. Oh, did I spell his name wrong? Oops. All right, Jay, you are up. Dunk Jones. That is correct, Nico. He wasn't a real fish. <laughs> right. RJ. Just question Jones, Doug Jones. Perfect. <laughs> Z man. Doug Jones. Excellent, Haley. It's spelled a Z. No, that fish no. had it going on, Doug Jones. Hey. Bill. I'm on a roll. We got Doug Jones. And Anthony. Doug Jones. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he erased his board. It looked like he wrote Dog Jones on his board. Oh, my dog Jones. Jones. Like that was my Dog Jones. <laughs> it's, it's Dog? All right. The category of the guy. You know it. For an ultimate question, is View Askew. Let's go. In Clerk's Clue, what fast food restaurant do Dante and Randall work at? Oh, thank you. I, I was afraid yeah. it was going to be so much harder. Uh, I, see, when they said strengths, I would assume this was for round two. I didn't know that you were going to go with kindergarten, you know, <laughs> kindergarten questions. Oh, my God. What is the name? I didn't know, but... Why am I blanking on this? They literally made, like, five pop-ups of this during the right. pandemic. Your time is up. Nico, question or answer. I, I had a brain fart. Didn't get it. All right. RJ? Movies? Movies. Movies. Correct. Okay. Z-Man? Shout out to Arrowverse Bit Belly Burger. <laughs> Haley? I wrote Burger King, but it's pronounced Donate to Fawn. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Bill? Movies. <laughs> Movies. 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 And Jay. Movies. I just have way too much fun saying that word. Alrighty. And our last question we are bringing back Jacoby, our star. I think I'd at least not bring back wrestling. 
All right. In that jerk Jacoby's strength, James Bond, the question is, what was the first James Bond movie that starred Roger Moore? I'm not Damn it. This guy ever. I hate everybody. <laughs> <laughs> ever. Oh. Oh, this is the one no. thing I'm bad at. <sighs> this is the one thing I'm, I'm like, got it. <laughs> I don't got think it. that somebody not an participating in this it. match should have a strength in this match. I need sleep. I, I'm just going to put a title. Four, three, right two, one. one. It's not. RJ. I just put live and let die because it's the first one that always pops into my head. Well, that's the correct answer. That's the right no, it's not. No, oh, it's not. It is. Wow. RJ with the sleeper hit. RJ with the sleeper <laughs> hit. Z-Man. I just put diamonds are forever. I had no idea. Sean Connery, I know that. I just put an angry face. <laughs> they live and let die. Anthony? That's what I was going to do. But I'll just say it. Live and let die. Yay. Uh, I'll do it with the wrong answer. I feel so I kill. <laughs> <laughs> I had on Her Majesty's Secret Service. That is George Lazenby. The only one he was in. All right. That brings us to the end of round one. And nobody had a perfect round, so no bonus question for you guys. Um, so that brings our scores to Nico with three, RJ with six, Haley, Z-Man, Bill, and Jay with four, and Anthony with five. How the hell did I end up in the lead? This match is rigged. Because you fucking guessed your way there, baby. Because <laughs> you crushed it. Because right. we gave you a point for Bill Burke. Because you remembered who the Red Power Ranger was. Yeah, right? yeah we gave yeah, you a point for Bill Burke. <laughs> Alrighty, we are moving on to round two. Yikes. All competitors will be asked a series of the same five questions in the following order. Two questions in general movie trivia, one question in nerd of movie trivia, two questions in wrestling trivia. There will oh, be way to stack the deck. Yeah, really. <laughs> there will be a 60 second time limit to produce a maximum of four answers to each question via writing it on their whiteboard. For the two movie questions and one nerdum question, you will be given a quote and then will be asked to provide the character who recited said quote, the actor who plays said character, the movie the quote is from, and the movie's release year. Oh, crap. Fuck wow. you. Three <laughs> points, I'll begin. They act like they did not receive the rules prior to this. For the two I don't read things. For the two wrestling questions, you will be given a question with multiple possible answers, and you simply have to write down four answers to that question. Once the time limit has expired, each competitor will verbally say their answers while showing their answers on their whiteboards. Each correct answer will result in a one-point increase with the potential for a competitor to score a maximum of four points per question. There are no score penalties for incorrect answers. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Hey, guy. Uh, I need that nap break. Are we, are we writing them all? Are you giving us all of the questions at once and we have to write them down no, no, and break it, them it, into categories? No, it's 60 seconds for each question. So I'm just going to give you one question. You will have 60 seconds to name all four parts. Okay, so, so again, here. just a reminder, you're, for the, I'll remind you for each question. So the first question that I'm going to ask you, you need to write the character, the actor that played that character, the movie, and the year for a possible four points. Okay. Okay? Awesome. So your category is drama, yeah. and the Ooh. quote is, I was there to push people beyond what's expected of them. I believe that's an absolute necessity. Not even gonna bother. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this blank board for 60 seconds because no effing idea. Lead, it I was nice knowing you when I had you. Right. <laughs> this match brought to you by sand. It's everywhere. Get used to it. Oh, come on, RJ. Give us a guess. I couldn't even give you a good guess if I tried. Listen, I'm not even going to lie. Live and let die out. You can pull this guess. Nope. This quote <laughs> rings no bell in any way, shape, or form. So, not Live even going to Live and let die is five words, not four different things consisting of multiple words. That's true. 
Also, I play in a league where there's a James Bond category, and I put live and let die every time. There's a James Bond question. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Well, I guess it plays to work one. And five. Right. It's worked twice. Four, three, <laughs> two, one. All right, we are in a new round, so I will start back up at Nico. Nico, what are your answers? Um, I choked and just wrote a year where a lot of good movies came out. 1984. That is incorrect. No points for you, sir. Figure. <laughs> RJ. Big old no, blank board for you. Okay. Uh, Z-Man? <laughs> I would just say, please donate to Don, and I just put 1995 for okay. reasons. That is incorrect. <laughs> uh, Haley? I put Becky because she looks like a Becky. Sandra Bullock, The Blind Side, 2008. Not correct. Oh, wow. I wasn't saying that. <laughs> That's so, pretty good guess. Yeah, very good I guess. I do like that guess yeah. a lot. At least her information was, like, correct about yeah. it. Leah <laughs> Cruz, that was her name. Other than that, all of that else is up. Everything else is accurate. Bill, what do you have? I started writing Ron Burgundy and the Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Um, <laughs> In drama? Okay. I don't know things. Anthony? I don't know things. I don't remember the character name, but I guess Robin Williams in Goodwill Hunting in 1998. Oh, all good guesses, but none of that's correct. Oh, oh dang. And Jay. <laughs> Uh, a few good men, Colonel Nathan Jessup, Jack Nicholson, nineteen ninety. No, we were looking for Terrence Fletcher, J.K. Simmons, Whiplash. Oh, oh that sounds like oh, a yeah, I don't I don't yeah. uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He didn't demand pictures of Spiderman. There, no. Okay, next question. Again, <laughs> yeah, you're here. Uh, your category is 2000s. So we have a 10 year range. I like that. Nice. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. I got it. I got a guess on this one. All right. And your quote is This is the best deal you're going to get. I won't tell you that you can save yourself because you can't. Again, nothing. Wow. This is the This is hard. I will say when they score zero points, it does make it easier for me as far as keeping track of their score. Wow. Yes, Christina, I would have to agree with you on that. Yeah. It, it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> My co-host, everyone, and the engineer of this program. <laughs> I'll at least guess a year. Is everybody happy? Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, sure <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You have a 10% <laughs> chance. Yeah. A 1 in 10 chance, yes. And I'm sure we're going to be wrong. I suck at oh, no, I'm Eco. wrong. I think I remember this. And 4, 3, 2, 1. RJ, we will start with you. I just guessed 2007. Well, that is correct. So oh. No, it's not. <laughs> Shut up. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That is not fair. Shenanigans. Oh, mine's wrong. I don't believe you. <laughs> Z-Man. Uh, man, well, I just feel defeated. I put Denzel Washington, Creasy, Man on Fire, 2004. Just, just forget about it. Forget about it all. I almost want to give you a point just because I love that movie so much. I love that movie. It is good movie. Haley. I just put the hot chick, Rob Schneider, the hot chick, 2002. Like it. Also, I want to give Haley a point. Bill. I couldn't remember the character name, and I got the year wrong, but I think it's Liam Neeson in Taken. No. No? All right. Anthony. I mean, I'm wrong because I put Harvey Dent, Aaron Eckhart, Dark Knight. Oh, my God. Oh, I just remembered what it is. Oh. Okay. I'm so hard done writing Jeremy Piven 2006. <laughs> and Nico? I was way off. I wrote David Spade, Emperor Cusco, The Emperor's New Groove 2000. It's Albert Brooks The Drive. Video. We were looking for Anton Sugar, Javier Bardem, No Country for Old Men. Uh, okay, yeah. That movie came out in 2007. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be kidding. <laughs> I didn't see that now. Okay, oh, okay. your next uh, category is a nerdum movie. Uh, the same oh. rules will apply character, actor, movie, and uh, year. Your category is Marvel. That Your quote is. But you know what scares me the most? When I can't fight it anymore. When it takes over. When I totally control. I like it. 
Oh, that sounds ridiculously familiar. I will say that I, here's my hint to all of you. I have seen this. I know, I know exactly what it is now. <laughs> and I fell asleep in the movie theater. Oh, wait, never mind. Can we ask for like a repeat in this one? Because I mean, it it's not, I'm not seeing, seeing it. it. Yeah, I'm not yeah. seeing it on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm, I'm just, bear with me. Sorry. No worries. My place. Yeah, and I guess you, guys, you guys might get extended time also because I didn't keep time because I thought it was going to be in the corner. Uh, well, I don't know why I can't find it. everything's all messed up now. Sorry. I, hope <laughs> uh, I can get I'll give a free just because you guys can't read it. But, but you know what scares me okay, the most? I see what happened. I'm good now. Okay. Are you putting a timer up, or are we just kind of going to wing it now? I can put a timer up. I'm good now. Sorry. I mean, you you have you have a live timer in the corner. I'm just saying. I know, but I wasn't paying attention to it because I, I thought that one was going up. So, my bad. Wait. In the immortal words of Josh Makuga, professionalism. You know what? Um, I'm this gonna... is a <sighs> oh, that was if, if it ends up being my first answer, I'm throwing hands. I think that was I, I will be as well because now I'm just putting one because at least I know the year and it makes sense. <laughs> this sounds familiar, but oh, it definitely sounds familiar. I'm probably wrong. I, I'm more than likely wrong. <laughs> but I went for one that I actually knew all four of the required answers. I yeah, that's the I'm first one I had. I'm not sure about this and anymore. Three, two, one. We'll start with Z-Man. What do you got, sir? It's wrong. I just put Jean Grey, Malcolm Jensen, uh, 2007, X-Men 3, The Last Stand. I really appreciate that guess, but it is incorrect. Haley. I almost put Chris Evans as Johnny Storm in Fantastic Four, but I changed it to Bruce Banner, played by not Chris Evans, in the Hulk 2002. In Hulk 2002. Bruce Banner and Hulk are correct for two points. Oh, oh wow. my god! <laughs> nah. Bill! If, if you get this right again, I'm, I'm leaving. I put Bruce Banner, oh, oh, oh. played by Eric Banner, in Hulk in 2003. All four correct answers. Uh, fuck you! Anthony. I'm going to just erase my Daredevil one. Okay. Jay? I won't, even though I want to. Ghost Rider Johnny Blaze, Nick Cage, 2004. Uh, Nico? Wesley Snipes, Blade, Blade 2, 2002. I was thinking that too. Okay. Anthony, I'm sorry. Hulk. Get the hell out of here. Eric Butter, Bruce Banner, 2003. <laughs> Can we just get RJ out? Like. No. I Hold just think from Nico's answer. I've never seen someone so distressed over getting answers right. <laughs> All right. We are now switching over to the wrestling question. So just hey, a reminder. Oh, wait, no. Um, that there are just four possible answers to the question. So I write down all four answers. Uh, your category is Chris Jericho. Yes. Okay. I know of him. Not including the scramble match at Unforgiven 2008, who all has Chris Jericho defeated for world championship in the WWE? Again, he defeated are, for a world title? Defeated for a world title. A world championship in the WWE. I'm going to give four good guesses. And, uh... I don't do wrestling, so I would just guess any wrestlers that I've ever heard of. Well, I'm doing. I got you, boo. I like how these are changing every time. Well, Jamie's just going to mess around. Who's another one? I'll be surprised if any of these are right. <laughs> Every time you say that, you get something right. Stop talking. He will somehow get eight points with his fucking. You know what? Okay, if any of these are right, I'll shut up the rest of the match. How about that? 
Okay. No, you okay. won't. Oh, right. oh, oh. No, you won't. I will, I will shut up until it's my turn to answer. <laughs> That's time. No, y'all. you won't. Okay, that was got aggressive. Um, I believe Haley, you are first. I put not Kevin Smith, not Kevin Smith, not Kevin Smith, not Kevin Smith. Technically, that is correct, but I can't accept that. Bill. Stone Cold, The Rock, Shawn Michaels, and CM Punk. Uh, the Rock is an is an option, so you get a point for The Rock. Damn it! How did I not write that? Also, Stone yeah. Cold. Oh, that's what that is. Stone Cold. Yeah, I said. Oh, Stone I'm sorry. Cold I don't know what S C S A means, so thank you for that. So you get two points, Bill. All right, cool. Uh, Anthony. That was easy. The Undertaker, John Cena, Edge, and Rey Mysterio Jr. <laughs> is is Taker Undertaker? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. then okay, you get one point, Anthony. I pulled an RJ. Yes. Jay? John oh, no. Cena, Dave Batista, Rey Mysterio, and The Undertaker. RJ's going to have to shut up. I can see it in his face. Batista and Undertaker are correct. Oh. Wow. I'm really yes! <laughs> uh, Nico? Batista, Stone Cold, Undertaker, and The Rock. All four correct. And of course it was. Why? It's not like this match is rigged. I, I only have the rock right, so I'm just going to shut up. Okay, I'll talk about it. And Z-Man. It's good to know a guy, too. I put Rock Stone Cold, Triple H, and uh, Shawn Michaels. Nice. Second, I thought that said Shawn Mendes, and I was very confused. <laughs> I'm no, right. they don't actually kill people on the show. They so wait, act um, like it. Which ones did Zed get correct? Rock and Stone Cold. Yeah. Okay. And RJ right. got one right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. He's not, he's not talking until it's his turn to answer now. All right. Your last category is Hell in a Cell. Ugh. Who were the four most recent wrestlers to compete in a Hell in a Cell match? Ooh, uh... Sorry, I have to ask. Does that include females? Yes. I believe it's going yeah. to. Yeah. I'm counting it, yeah. I couldn't name one. I mean, I, I don't know who any of these people are, but if they say yes, then okay. <laughs> Oh, wait, she's weird. Oh. Just right four wrestlers down that I heard in the first. <laughs> Dude, I got to think about when they aired on the pay per view. You know this, Nico. Stop it. I should have listened to Sean Wasserkrug more. Okay. I'm feeling good about this. I mean, um, I, I watched this fucking pay per view, so I know I got it. Okay, I I might challenge other people's answers depending on what they say. You go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you can challenge my answers all you want. I promise you they're both wrong. Let it go. Two, one. Hands down. Oh, it's still going. Wow. Okay. 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 Um, Bill, you're up. Jay Uso, Roman Reigns, Sasha Banks, Bailey. Um. I don't know who all of these people are, but Sasha and Bailey is on the list. Okay, so the Oh fuck. I don't know if people are on the list. I think he feels he realized. No, I forgot there was a main event. That's what okay. Yeah. Anthony, yeah. Who, who do you think? I went with Edge Undertaker, female Edge and female Undertaker. So <laughs> <laughs> <Go> wrong. Wait <laughs> for creativity. No, nothing. Not right. No, okay. Jay, what are you thinking? Uh Edge, Becky, Undertaker, and a jar of mayonnaise. Uh, no, that's not correct. Uh, Nico. So, Roman Reigns and Jey Uso were at that pay per view, but the four most recent ones who. Yeah, I forgot the main event. Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, Bailey, Sasha Banks. Oh, wow. That's all four. Yes. Sorry, I just don't know everybody's name, so I'm like. RJ. I, I, I don't have any good guesses. Uh, Z Man? I forgot about uh, Drew, uh, Drew and Randy, but I put Bailey Sasha Bates. That's the only two I got right. Because that match fucking sucked. That's why. It did suck. It wasn't and that good. Really. Uh, star of the Oscar worthy girl on the third floor, CM Punk, Stone Cold, Chris Jericho, and something Bella. Nice. I like it. Yeah, something Bella's actually got it back. <laughs> Wait, were there any points right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just liked your guesses. All righty. At the end of round two, we have Nico with 11. We have RJ with 12. Haley with six. Z-Man with eight. Bill with 12. Anthony with six. And Jay with six. Holy shit. What the hell just happened? You know wrestling. That's what happened. Apparently. Not enough, apparently. Alrighty, so the rules for round three is nicknamed the Workhorse Round after the retired CWT Workhorse title. All competitors will be asked a series of the same five questions, two in general movie trivia, two in wrestling, and one in nerd movie trivia. Prior to this round starting, whoever is in the lead at that point in the match will get to determine which medium of trivia questions will be asked first, second, and third round. For example, if I'm in the lead and I pick Nerdum first, wrestling second, and general movies third, general movies fourth, and, gen and wrestling fifth, then that's the order in which questions will be asked for that round. There will be a, a bias towards wrestling in this. Okay. There will be a 15-second time limit to answer each question via writing it on their whiteboard. Once the time is expired, each competitor will, will verbally say their answers while showing their answers on their whiteboards. Correct answers will result in a one-point increase. This round, though, if you are incorrect, it will result in a one-point decrease. Oh, wow. So we have Definitely a bias towards wrestling. We, we have two people tied for the lead, RJ and Bill. Two people tied, yes. Um, and we have so, three people tied for last. Um, I don't have a coin in front of me. Or, gentlemen, would you like to work together? I think that's probably I wouldn't mind doing that. What do you think? RJ? No, screw you guys. Flip a coin. <laughs> wow. Fuck it. Let's go alphabetically. Let's go reverse alphabetically. Oh, my God. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's fine. We'll flip. Yeah. All right. We're going to flip a coin. Uh, Bill, heads or tails? Heads. And it is heads. I just flipped one virtually. I can share my screen if you need to see it. I believe you. Okay. So, Bill, what order would you like the questions to be? Give me a minute. General, then nerd. I got to do this. We're doing this like twice, right? So two general, one nerd, two wrestling. All right. So general, nerd, wrestling, general, wrestling. I to make sure that my color coordination here is good for round three. Uh, let's see. Red, green, blue, red, blue, I think. Or gold, depending on JB3's graphics. It's yeah, uh, so blue. I have purple in there, too. Yep, I'm just checking. Um, yeah, so these are wrestling. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. I got it. All right, so we're going to start with general trivia. And um, you got to wait for Jay to come back. JBRB. Wow. Jay took off for a second. So how's everybody? Well, how are you? I mean, I'm exhausted. Oh, I can't done. wait for the boy to claim me. <laughs> I, I, was, I was pretty dead after the, the shoveling today. Like, that kind of. Yeah, I was so much out. shoveling. So much. I try to make fun things, and yet I just make people sad. No, you didn't make me sad. Mother Nature punching me in the asshole for two straight hours made me sad. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. All right. I'm All right. So, Bill wanted general uh, trivia first, and I believe uh, our Jacoby <gasps> to ask this question in directors. Oh, crap. In the category of directors, who directed Stardust? Just don't. Was that right or wrong? And you guys will have fifteen question or fifteen seconds for this one. I don't remember. Nah, this is wrong. And five. Four, three, two, one. All right, new round. We are going back to Nico. Richard Linklater? 
That is incorrect. RJ. John Lee Hancock? <laughs> that is incorrect. Z-Man. I just put Martin Scorsese and we're going back to seven points. <laughs> oh, that's right, because we have to lose points, so I should pay attention to things. Just kidding. I'm new here. Oh, Haley. Uh, watch me lose a point after putting Darren Aronofsky. Yeah, you're losing a point. Sorry, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Bill? The lead was fun. I wrote Brian De Palma. That is incorrect. Anthony? I, I love this movie. Rob Reiner? That is incorrect. Yeah. Jay? I also put Martin Scorsese. That is incorrect. Thank you, Jay. So what was the correct you. answer? The correct answer is Matthew Vaughn. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes, Nobody it cares. It's not an X Men movie. Nobody gives a shit about him. I like this movie. <laughs> All okay. right. Our next category is in uh, is Murdom. So the category is MCU. To date, in how many films has Clark Gregg portrayed Phil Coulson? Oh God! Yeah, one more time. Okay. Um, well, you get fifteen seconds. That is not ideal. Uh, and five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. Oh, first repeat. In the category of MCU, to date, how many films has Clark Gregg portrayed Phil Coulson? Oh, fuck, I think I'm off by one. That's my thing. I'm like, I, it's, I'm stuck between two numbers right next to each other. Uh, push it about this, but we'll see. Four, three, two, <clears throat> one. RJ. Was it five? Uh, it is five. Yep. <laughs> Z-Man. I put four. Man. I'm missing. Hell, oh, I, I had five and then I erased it. Four. <laughs> Bill? I forgot Captain Marvel. It's 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 five. I wrote four. Anthony. Five. Nice job, honey. Jay. Nope. And Nico. I'm just adjusting the scores on top of my board here. Five. Perfect. Sure you were, Nico. Sure. I kept, oh, I kept the marker oh. high. I kept the marker high. Oh, oh, got Iron Man. I can't believe that. Your wrestling uh, category. Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Thor, Avengers, Captain Marvel. All right. Yeah. Good mm -hmm. job, honey. I forgot Iron Man. Mm. So did I. <laughs> oh my All right, we are moving on to your wrestling questions in the category of Summer Slam. Which wrestler did The Undertaker defeat at SummerSlam 2015? Oh. <sighs> Write one down and hope it's correct. I've never heard of this person. Oh, well, okay, okay, never mind. Yep, Three, yep, yep, yep. two, one. Repeat. Oh, Wait, someone, someone used a repeat. Oh, somebody used a repeat. In the category of SummerSlam, which wrestler did The Undertaker defeat at SummerSlam 2015? Was that Jay or Zed? Who you it was me. Jay. Uh. All right. I believe um, our, we're, are we on RJ or are we on Z-Man? Uh, Z-Man. Zed. Zed. All right, Zed, what do you got? I think this, I think this is right. Fuck! Bless you! That is correct. Haley. Uh, uh, not that guy. <laughs> Bill. Not Bray Wyatt. Anthony. I wrote Randy Orton after you, I realized it wasn't Chris Jericho. Jay. You remember when people gave a shit about wrestling? Pepperidge Farm remembers. God damn it. Nico. <laughs> uh, Brock Lesnar. And RJ. I guess Triple H. 
Okay, did you use a repeat just to finish writing all that down? I was just yes, going that. That is great. Yes, I did. <laughs> because honestly, it's the one. It's the one element of this match that doesn't make any sense, and it's only here to make sure that certain people get points. Listen, am I good I on the score? Can we double check the score real quick? Uh, Bill got that one incorrect, right? Totally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have Nico at 12, RJ at 11, Haley at 3, uh, Zad at 7, Bill at 9, Anthony at 5, and Jay at 3. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, cool. that's what I have. Sweet. Yeah. Sure. All right. Your next category, though, is back to general movie trivia. So we are in the category of Will Smith, the Fresh Prince himself. Woo! And your question is, who plays Malcolm X in Ali? It's such a dick question, Leon. Oh my god. <laughs> I, don't mean. Oh, I haven't seen this in years. Me neither. Oh man. And five, four, three. Repeat. All right, that is Bill's second repeat. In the category of Will Smith, who plays Malcolm X in Ali? Oh dear Lord. I can't think of anything. I can't think anybody. I'm just writing an answer. I can't. It's not going to me. And five, four, three, two, one. Haley. At least I can't bring myself to zero points. Denzel Washington. That is incorrect. Uh, Bill. Terrence Howard. That is also incorrect. Oh, Anthony. So Jamie Fox. That is incorrect. Yep. Jay. I don't know. Mahershala Ali, the guy who didn't say the N word during the Green Book press tour. Nico. Uh, serious answer, Arsenio Hall. Incorrect, RJ. No, but I didn't get a guess in. And, uh, I couldn't think of it. It is Mario Van Peebles. Oh, oh yes, that's everyone's right. saying that. Yes, oh, right. right. I forgot about that. Oh. I forgot about that. Well, we're that. I wasn't oh, going to pull that name. Your last yeah, question too. is in wrestling. And again, it will be brought to you by our favorite star, Jacoby. Of course it will. All right. In the category of modern day wrestling, the question is, who is the current WWE Intercontinental Champion? <laughs> well, that's a layup. Is it, though? Is it? I mean, if you watch the product, it is. So, that's so true. So, it's not a lot. Uh, wait. Help me. Someone help me, please. Can I find a friend? Yeah, what do you want to know? Can I let Nico answer for me? Three, two, one. Uh, Bill, I believe you are up, sir. Big E. Big E is correct. Anthony. Oh, I said edge again. I like that answer, honey, but it's all right. Jay? Um, cool. I have a single point. This was fun. Donate to Thon. Well, the match isn't over yet. We got time here, peeps. Nico? Big E. Big E is correct. RJ? I know we took it from Sami Zayn. Well, <laughs> Sami Zayn's not on my sheet. Dad? <laughs> I only need three men. I need five. Ah, Biggie. Nice. And Haley. I'm going to stay here with my one point. Nice. All right, guys. So at the end of round three, we have Nico in the lead with 12. RJ and Bill are tied with nine. Dad has seven. Anthony has three. And Haley and Jay have one. I and feel like I'm about to be attacked now. <laughs> we are going to move on to round four, which is the deep cuts round. All competitors will be asked a series of three of the same questions, one in general movie, one in wrestling, and one in nerdum. Prior to this round starting, whoever is in the lead at that point in the match will get to determine which medium of trivia will be asked first, second, and third in this round. There will be a 15-second time limit to answer each question via writing it on their whiteboard. Once the time limit has expired, each competitor will verbally say their answers while showing their whiteboards. A single correct answer will result in a one-point increase. A second consecutive 
correct answer will result in a two-point increase for that second correct question. And a third consecutive correct answer will result in a three-point increase for that third correct question. Any incorrect answers in this round will bring the point value of the next question back down to one point for the players who answered incorrectly. Basically, two X trivia night round three rules. And I'm in the lead. So Nerdum Wrestling General Movies. That's the order. Of course it is. Thank you for not making me end on a wrestling question so I have a chance. <laughs> at least I can right. get negative points. Probably you cannot get negative points. You can only go up at this point. All righty. Um, in Nerdum, we are taking it to Jacoby. Fuck! <laughs> Oh! Why? Right. Uh, In the category of Wizarding World, the question is, what London landmark do the Death Eaters destroy at the beginning of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince? Maybe. Oh, I love how Jacoby's video just cut off Bill perfectly <laughs> right in mid-square. Fucking bullshit, Harry. Fucking Potter. Fucking sucks. <laughs> Good luck, Hunter. Three. The answer is the London Bridge. Y'all write it All down right. real fast. All right. We are back to the top. So, Nico, what do you have? I almost wrote London Bridge, but I completely blanked and just wrote Big Ben. That is incorrect. RJ? I think I chose the wrong word. Is it Millennium Bridge? It is the Millennium Bridge. Uh, Zadius? I put Big Ben. Okay. Haley? At least I don't have negative points. Big Ben. Bill? Hey, kids, look. Big Ben. Parliament. <laughs> Anthony? Big Ben is in a part of Parliament. Big Ben. And Jay? Remember, remember the 5th of November when they blew up the Millennium Bridge. All right. So right now, only Jay and RJ are eligible for two points in the next question. Cool, it's wrestling. That's not going to happen. Yes, it's in wrestling. All righty. Your category is Ric Flair, who I learned last night. Has a All right. Who did Ric Flair team with against Mr. Perfect and Macho Man Randy Savage at Survivor Series 1992? This is, this is actually not a wrestling question that helps me. doesn't matter. This is the fact that every other wrestling question throughout this match has. Don't be a stinky loser. <laughs> I'm not being a stinky loser. I'm just saying. Three, two, repeat. One. repeat. Oh, well, Nico got it first. Nico said it first. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Ric Flair. Who did Ric Flair team with against Mr. Perfect and Macho Man Randy Savage at Survivor Series 1992? Bill, I'm pretty sure that you and me were the only people alive. Four, three, two, one. I was born in the 88. Yeah, right? Like, yeah, yeah, come on. Six at this point. RJ. Uh, Z, I thought you were 23, bro. Oh, thank you, man. Black don't uh, crack, baby. I got you. Ultimate Warrior? Uh, that is incorrect. Of course it is. Zadius? I just put Hulk Hogan. That is not correct. Yeah. Haley? I sat next to Rick in a bar once, Hulk Hogan. Not correct, Bill. I said Sid Justice. I can't remember. No. Anthony. I obviously also went Hulk Hogan. Um, Jay? I also, 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 also went Hulk Hogan. And Nico? Lex Luger? No. RJ, um, did I say you yet? Yes, I started with you, right? Yep. We were looking for Razor Ramon. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, look at an Italian stereotype. All right. So now we are back to everybody is only eligible to get one, uh, one point for this next question. The category is horror. How did the Wolfman die in 1941's The Wolfman? No, wasn't alive here. <laughs> Uh, look, don't lie. Look. Okay. 
Let's just help my monster mythology is up to date. Four, three. Repeat. How did? How many repeats do I have left? Uh, Jay, you have three. Bill has one. Anthony has three. Oh. Nico has two. In the category of I'm pretty follow, sure Bill just used his last one, though. No, no, no. Because no, everyone got four. Everyone got four repeats. So, How did the Wolfman die in 1941's The Wolfman? I really love just, like, milking out everyone else's repeats. Because... <laughs> Same. I <didn't> know that. <laughs> it's like, I don't know the answer, so I'm not going to ask for a repeat. And five, four... Three. Repeat. Two. How did the Wolfman die in 1941's The Wolfman? I'm good. Sorry, my cat was being really cute. Uh, Put it on TikTok, you'll have a bajillion followers. I don't even know her clients. Oh, the cutest baby in the whole wide world? The cutest baby in the whole wide world. I don't know what's going to happen if I actually do have a baby, because I'm going to be like, you're not as cute as Clint. Sorry, my dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, Zad. He, he was shot? Question mark, question mark, question mark. He was not shot. Haley. So he was not shot with a silver bullet? He was not. Uh, Bill. I might have this way wrong, but I thought he was strangled by a cane with a silver handle. <laughs> was the was the wire silver? Um, I will do not erase your board. We will see what other people answer, and we will make a roll attack. Anthony, I thought he was beaten with a silver cane. Do not erase your board either, uh, Jay. Yeah, I have killed with the silver from the cane head. Nico, I had the silver bullet, so I'm wrong either way. RJ, I also had silver bullet. All right, the answer I have is he got bludgeoned by his father's silver walking stick or cane. So I would think because we use the word bludgeoned, then only Anthony would be correct using the word beaten. I, I killed with the silver. I think Jay would also. I think killed would be, would be okay. Yeah. I've never seen the yeah. movie, so. I'm yeah, I think he was beaten to death by the silver cane, but it's not an entirely, it's not a, an entire cane made of silver. It's literally hey, the silver okay. wolf head. That's why no, I said I, you're right. With you're a silver right. handle. Yeah. yeah. You, yeah. But you said strangled. I will give everyone a point. I don't care. The word on my sheet is bludgeoned. So. Bludgeoned yeah. just I, means... Anyway. means beaten. Yeah, I'm pretty sure bludgeoned means beaten. Yes, it does. I was close. All right, so I'm going to give it to Anthony and Kay. And uh, that's how we're going to live our life right now. All right. It was fine. So, as of right now, I have Nico with 12, RJ with 10, Haley with 1, Zad with 7, Bill with 9, Anthony with 4, and Jay with 3. I'm almost in last place, y'all. Okay. Me, me first. We are finally entering the last round. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay. <laughs> This is the betting round. All competitors will be asked a series of the same three questions from categories randomly selected by a wheel spin. There will be a wheel of 10 categories, five overall movie categories, and five wrestling categories. When a category is spun, competitors will wager one, two, or three points for the following question that will be asked from that category. There will be a 15-second time limit to answer each question via writing it on their whiteboard. Once the time limit has expired, each competitor will verbally say their answers while showing their whiteboards. Competitors will gain or lose the number of points they get for that question for their answer if it is correct or incorrect. Whoever has the highest score after those three questions in this final round has been asked will be declared the winner of the match and the inaugural Trivia for Thon Omniversal Champion. If there is I, a tie after those three questions, the fourth question will be asked to break the tie and so forth and so on. Okay. I have a serious question. Yes. Can we bet zero points? Mm, no. Yeah, so do I. Um, the rules say that you can bet one, two, or three points. Okay. okay negative points today. Yeah. Hold on. Can I ask the people who aren't using headphones to mute themselves real fast? Yeah, I do hear a little something in the back. 
I did. There too. was a mad echo during all of that, and I want to make sure that everybody actually has a chance to hear the rules. So, can you go over that one more time? Essentially, the wheel is going to be spun three times. Once the category is spun on the wheel, you will bet one, two, or three points. We will ask three questions. At the end of those three questions will be the winner. Perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, oh, that's not even a wrestling. Games. That's not even a wrestling category I'm good at. Jeez. Oh, oh well, that's, that's mm. me. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Mm. It's got to be one through three. It can't be zero. It can, the rules do not say zero. <laughs> All right, so I need everybody to please write one, two, or three on their board. And then uh, go around. You want to show me now, Nico, or with the answer? Wait, hold on. JB3, how do you have the, the categories scattered out between movies and wrestling on that wheel? Are they – like? because I want to make sure like everyone's getting a fair shot here. It does not matter. Random wheel. You know, yeah, multiple random shots. Random slices for everything. There's 30 slices. <laughs> But are they spaced out? Categories. Categories. Yeah. I think it's fine. I mean, Nico, okay. Okay. One, 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 one point. One they point. will not one matter. Point. One point. I'm betting one point. All right. Nico is betting one point. RJ, what are you betting? One point. Zad? One point. Haley? One point. Bill? One. Anthony? I'll follow suit. One. Jay? Oh, no. Look. It's like we're following a pattern. It's one point. All righty. In the category of wrestling entrance themes. Nobody asked for this. Wow, this is this is going to be a hard question. I really feel bad for you guys. What is the first line in Hulk Hogan's entrance theme? I should have bet three points. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, you might want to give 30 seconds for this one. This is a long line. Oh, the first line. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what? I'm <laughs> Haley, I'm so glad we showed up tonight. See, I'm telling you, I'm going to make everyone else look better. All righty. Again, with the new rounds, you can start with Nico. What do you got for me? When it comes crashing down and it hurts inside. All right. Nico is correct. RJ? I just went with his catchphrase. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> All right. That is incorrect. Zad? No. Yeah, I'd be like that. Uh, Haley? I guess you could call me pointless now. Hey. But at least you don't have to try to answer any more questions. Yay! Bill? When it comes crashing down and it hurts inside. Anthony? Brother! I love you. Jay? <laughs> Everywhere I go, bitches always know Hollywood. Do bitches always know, Jay? I don't know if that's true. <laughs> bitches always know. When I start drinking, my, I'm not drinking that. I'm All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, Haley has been mathematically eliminated, but she's still going to be here because she loves us all. So let's spin the wheel for our next question. I swear to God, if the, one of these questions is what I'll know, I'm going to drop In all fairness, like two thirds of us has been eliminated. Oh, yeah. If they could bet zero. If they're all wrestling, I'm siding with Jay. <laughs> Oh damn it! Oh, oh what? This is and like I a nightmare. Could be anything worse? <laughs> well, any oh, yeah. would have been <laughs> All righty, scores and soundtracks. So let's put our wagers on the board, please. I'm gonna write this in Roman numerals just so people understand. Okay, RJ. I don't want to be anywhere near the lead anymore, so I'm gonna bet three and get it wrong. Hey. Oh, yeah. ah. He's going to get it right. Big baby is going to get it right. Zad. Haley, I'm coming for you. Three. <laughs> I get that that's zero. Everybody's like, I just don't want to play anymore. Bill. Burn it down. <laughs> Burn it down. Anthony. I don't want to be the only person to have one, so I'll go three. <laughs> Jay. I'll be the only person to have one. <laughs> and Nico. I broke everyone. One. 
<laughs> you didn't break everybody. It was just a very skewed fucking format. Now, this isn't wrestling scores and soundtracks, right? So it's not going to be a no, question is, like the one is, we just got? No, this is regular movies. Oh, my God, if I get this one right. All right. And... Who composed the scores for Thor, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and Brave? Oh. oh. Anthony, you should know this, I feel. Okay, I feel like this has been discussed. Probably, but... I do not mean to guess this right, if this is right. I swear. I don't know. Just, you said you weren't going to talk the rest of the match, so... Yeah, I know. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Like yeah, AJ is really the biggest know. liar, and this is why he gets Repeat. so fucking good in matches. We're Get slowly repeat. diving into insanity. Four. Bill Three. used the repeat. Bill repeat. used the repeat. Oh. God, I cannot hear over all of you screaming. Bill, that's I did not use the repeat. That that was me. Me. I literally did not yeah. use the repeat. Yeah. yeah, that was me. Okay. Was Are you saying that Bill and Z sound the same? Jay, yes. come on, man. Who composed the scores for Thor? Rise of the Planet of the Apes and Brave. I don't know how Malcolm or Jay does this every single week for Classic. Those people are calm. Well, Jay drinks on stream, so that's how he handles it. Uh, and I'm just that saying, is 100% a fact. Or he makes Bill host it when we're all being shenanigans. Four, three, <laughs> two, one. All righty. RJ, what do you got, sir? Christoph Beck? That is incorrect. Okay, good. See? Fuck you guys. <laughs> Dad. Sure, I still got it wrong. I put Jerry Goldsmith. I think that's the person. Incorrect. Phil. I don't know. I guess Alan Silvestri. That is incorrect. Anthony. I guess Michael Giacchino. That is incorrect. And now you're out. Jay. Tyler Bates. That is incorrect. Nico. Oh, okay. It's I'm not that now. Oh, so if it's not, I have Tyler Bates, but I think it's Brian Tyler. Brian Tyler. It is Patrick Doyle. Oh. Mm. Brian Tyler. I'm glad I got that wrong. I thought Tyler Bates. Real quick, how much did you bet, Bill? So, one? Uh, Nate, yeah, I I bet. Bet. he bet one, I bet three. So, in a fun turn of events, we don't actually have to answer the last question because that's how math works. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm we're all pretty much mathematically out of it. I'm, I'm, I'm very good at math. Uh, like, are you? Good. So good. I mean, technically, Nico could bet three. And how are your get, kids? And that... he would get nine. So, I guess Bill technically could bet three. Bet three and get ten. So, yeah. that's how math works. And plus, I'm still oh. trying to get zero. I'm trying to still. I'm still trying to get zero. So, I, I right. want to ask questions. Go for negative numbers, here, baby. Alrighty. So, I guess we will spin one more time because I understand how math works, but I also Let's understand how smart people bet. So, <laughs> did you say Andrew? How did yeah. you say understand no. how poor people bet? What are you? How smart people would bet? That oh, would okay. Bet, would not bet three. Nico's going right. to take the Final lead on this question. Trip. Actually, we'll see. I might give Bill a chance here. Do it. Do All it. right, JB, oh, you're going to stop for us. Nope. That's all you got. Alex was fun, wasn't it? This was super fun. Go back here. At least I don't have to answer. How are you feeling, Anthony? Healthy now. I'm good. Wait, let me make this a little more symmetrical. Get a little bit of Wes yeah, Anderson. Say, you guys look super cute. All righty. Zad, are we going for three, honey? Oh, yes, we are. All right. <laughs> Bill? The big hurt. Let's do it. Do it. Jay? Let's go for negative 2.3. All right. Sure, let's go for it. Nico? I'm going to give Bill a chance here and bet two. If I miss it and he hits it, we tie. All, All right. right. Okay. I'm just going to bet three because everyone was so mean for me of having the lead, so I'm just going to have less points. <laughs> all righty. We're going to fucking gonna, tie this. It's this never going to happen. determine the winner or ruin all of our lives and send us into sudden death. I cannot wait to go to sleep. I have to work. Me, me and you both, yeah. In the category of WrestleMania, 
<laughs> At which WrestleMania did Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart compete in a 60-minute Iron Man match? Oh crap. What was the what was the year? I'm worried that apparently this is the worst back in the field mine right now. I can't wait to be the only person to not have points in this match. Zero is a point. Negative points are not a thing. Nico, you better not miss this question. It's it's a pre two thousands wrestling question. Those are my weak spots. We're telling you, Nico. Oh, you those are your weak spots. Wrestling. So you, you, you told them to five, write one of these in for the last. Four, I feel like three, I'm going to get mugged. Two, one. All right. Let's start with RJ. WrestleMania 15. That is incorrect. Of course it Zab? Is. I have achieved my goal, and I want for all the kids to know that you can do it too. And the two most important things about this match is don't forget to donate to Don. And for love of God, forget Terra Nova. Forget it. Hate that show. Join the club, Daddy. Join the boys. Jay, do you have a guess? Uh, yeah, WrestleMania 13, donate to Thon, you fucks. Okay. And let's see here. All right, Bill, you, you wager three. What do we got? I guessed 11. Nico? I guess 12. And your winner with the correct guess of 12 goes to Nico with an overall score of 14 points. And the crowd goes wild. Woo! I'll, I'll make it quick. Um, I, I knew I knew this match was pretty much a, a wild west affair. There were things that could screw literally everyone in this call over. And um, I, I benefited from it. Yay. I'm, I'm going to quietly walk away now before I get beaten up. But uh, donate to thon.org slash campaign slash trivia, the number four, T-H-O, and the number three. Raising money for the Four Diamonds Fund, covered costs of uh, children battling cancer at Penn State Hershey Children's Hospital. Uh, love you all. Thank you for everyone who's been on, been watching on Twitch or YouTube for the past twelve hours. Uh, yeah. I would love to do interviews with everyone, but like I'm not gonna lie, I just don't want to. So <laughs> I love you. <laughs> You're the best. Um, it's a little late. It's I shoveled snow today. I'm tired. I have to work tomorrow and teach virtually. So. Go follow everybody on social media. Be good people. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. We're still in a pandemic. Support your local teachers. All that fun stuff. And most importantly, please donate to Thon. I cannot tell you how much this cause means to me. It has been 10 years since I have been in that building celebrating this. It is such, such, such a worthwhile cause. And it helps so many people. And it is a cause that is near and dear to my heart. Um, so yeah, everyone have a wonderful, wonderful night from all of us here. Have a great night and please, please, please donate. Have a great night, everybody.